somewhere or the other it's more like a fairy tale for an actor right yeah. like you you enter with touching uh, amitabh sir's feet you know the next thing that you do is you get warm hugs from shahrukh sir i just entered college so all my friends in college were also like yay oh wow you're doing from mm. master it's a big deal you know yeah. and then i finished college and from master was still not out so like yeah. everybody was like uh, when yeah, yeah, when is it, when is it? When is it? <laughs> and he's like okay what's going on nowadays what do you how do you talk nowadays what are these short forms you have to do? and the worst thing was that i knew less than him then then he started you know like teasing me a little bit he's like okay what's the short form that i was like i don't know <laughs> and like you don't even know that much <laughs> get out you know? huh? on the same set i think janbir himself was also one of the most humble people i have ever met he would remember things like agar maine ek mahine pehle unse apne college ke bare mein kuch discuss kiya hmm. the next month he would come to me and say so how's your exam so i never met shahrukh sir uh, hmm. during the master and i was really heartbroken but little did i know i'll be shooting Got with him during when it's ram so we finished watching from master <laughs> we came out of the you know the theater and all and suddenly you know the sweetest thing that he did was are isne hi to bachaya from master isko bulao but do you ever got to visit mannat <laughs> and i was like oh my god this is the first time i'm taking a left and i'm going inside not <laughs> like going from outside <laughs> i'm telling you the left i took and after uh. that my heart was like pounding and i was just like it's really happening okay i think i made it I think Ganpati this year has become 800 crore time more happier and more uh, fruitful and celebratory for uh, my next guest and uh, it's just uh, getting bigger and bigger by the day uh, she 900 yeah that's what i'm saying it's getting bigger and bigger by the day yes 900 sorry I, i'm wrong it just came the, uh, this uh, morning only so it, it has got a 900 crore times more happier and it's gonna cross 1000 crore soon and maybe 1500 2000 crores it's just growing and growing she has got a chance to work with uh, i feel like two of the legends uh, of our craft not just in this film but before also mm -hmm. and she's making a mark of her own she was actually like uh, the emotional uh entry into jawan for us and uh, i think she's going to do wonders more and more as she goes on in her career and today i'm feel very happy as i'm sitting next to lehar thank so you. lehar firstly welcome to bollywood bubble thank you thank you so much firstly congratulations on jawan uh, how it has been dealing with all the love and appreciation ghar se nikalna thoda mushkil hua नहीं एक्चुअली अभी तो मजा आ रहा है अब तो मतलब निकलने का मन कर रहा है ज्यादा बट काफी अच्छा है और आई मीन it was sort of uh, expected for the film like hmm. jab ban rahi thi of course because sir hai at least sir hai so kahin na kahin dimag mein tha ki it's going to do wonders hmm. but hamare uh, liye bhi it'll be like such a wonder is something that happened on 7th itself yeah. and bahut acha response hai logo ka so i'm just quite happy yeah. <laughs> and as i was saying na ki it's like the emotional entry for the audience into the story because yes. yours is the first story that right. we get to see right. the first Uh, it's actually a gateway into what the motive what the story is all about right did it feel like a sense of responsibility also because if that story does not connect to the audience yes. a lot uh, <laughs> might hamper in the few, uh, by the next story yeah 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 so um it was a opening story and uh, i don't know i i mean definitely atli sir had a lot of responsibility for making it what it is yeah. and uh, he never let that responsibility or that uh, you know that pressure come on me hmm. but somewhere or the other i i had that in me also that i was like if if the first first flashback or the first story doesn't work out yeah. then for a lot of audience suddenly it's like i don't know but like you know it'll break their whole hmm. attention or the focus for the film because hmm. the opening of the film itself is so amazing that you are into it so the first story hmm. has to be extremely emotionally moving So yeah there was a lot of uh, I I had that pressure on my head but I think when we were shooting uh, that part of uh, Kalki's flashback um we were quite confident I think at least I was very confident over what he's written and what he's making and I am glad that he took me through that whole journey and made Kalki what it is yeah so uh, yeah after a point I think there was a lot of confidence and then the yeah. first day happened first day first show I saw and I saw people's reaction I was like okay yeah. done now <laughs> done done, done. <laughs> done. <laughs> but like uh, talking of that story like it's very emotionally overwhelming very emotionally because there's a lot that goes on with your character as right. kalki firstly seeing her father get ridiculed then right. having him disrobed in front of her right. then seeing him commit suicide there's a lot that goes on there's a lot of emotional 
plethora of emotions that goes inside yeah. for you was it a little overwhelming getting in that mind zone it was it was uh, i mean the whole uh, like the whole i think it's it won't be able to reach the audience until unless i myself don't feel it mm. so i definitely went through that whole journey of kalki myself mentally where mm. i think it was very important for me to see it not just as a as an audience but also to genuinely just put myself in her shoes yeah. and feel it you know because and i think it was more than enough yeah. Th that just the little bit was more than enough for me to be like okay it's it's automatically happening mm -hmm. because uh you know because i think for a longest period of time uh, i think during covid and everything everyone was going through that whole yeah. journey of feeling that aggression of feeling a little helpless at home also you know where we want to help but we don't know what to do yeah. so i think i found that <clears throat> that thing i i found it for myself that okay this can be the way i can help mm -hmm. you know having worked in the company uh, in the uh, vicinity hmm. of amita bachchan sir hmm. and then coming to shahrukh khan because yeah. they both are legends right. they belong to different generations yeah. they have ruled over the industry for so many years and they still continue to do so yeah. to work in their vicinity i'm sure in the beginning there would be a little nervousness there would be a little intimidation yeah. but how much then their role come into play in making you feel comfortable in making you feel a part of the process and not feel someone like who is beneath them or who is kind of right. not with that much experience as they have right so a lot actually honestly it it has to do a lot with them and it did uh, and somewhere or the other i believe that i think they are where they are because of the fact that they don't take themselves as oh we are here now everybody is beneath <clears throat> us in fact i think there's a part of them that's always like okay these are the new people coming mm. in let us help them you know yeah. i i could feel that humbleness that warmth in them mm. and uh, definitely i mean when i uh, you know like uh, i mean not to make it sound like that but somewhere or the other it's more like a fairy tale for an actor right yeah. like you you enter with touching uh, amitabh sir's feet you know mm. the next thing that you do is you get warm hugs from shahrukh sir and you get so comfortable mm. doing that so uh, not in a not definitely not as a love story but it still sounds like a fairy tale to me yeah. for myself it's a love story but with love of a different kind <laughs> very different Obviously. kind yeah right it's a love story right <laughs> yeah so uh, they made me feel really comfortable like uh, with with amitabh sir i think the funnest thing was that he is i think the most adaptable adaptable person i've ever met like mm. he wants to change with time and he's like okay what's going on nowadays what do you how do you talk nowadays what yeah. are these short forms you have to do? and the worst thing was that i knew less than him <laughs> so i would just be like so i really don't know what it means and then he started you know like teasing me a little bit he's like okay what's the short form of that i was like i don't know <laughs> and like, you don't even know that much <laughs> like just get out you know <laughs> but yeah i mean he was that kind of person so you can you know and when you are coming from outside and you have just watched amitabh bachchan mm. he is the legend that he is and mm. when you see him being just so humble and just mm. not humble but also like okay he really wants to know what's going on mm. he's always like up to date i like and and the thing is he would know more than you mm. and i mean not just because of the experience but also the fact that he puts in the efforts yeah. to know more okay what's mm. going on now you tell me and with that on the same set i think janbir himself was also one of the most humble people i have ever met mm. he would remember things like अगर मैंने एक महीने पहले उनसे अपने कॉलेज के बारे में कुछ डिस्कस किया द नेक्स्ट मंथ ही वुड कम टू मी सो हाउ इज एग्जाम यू टोल्ड मी लास्ट टाइम यू हैड एन एग्जाम सो हाउ हाउ डिड इट गो एंड हाउ लाइक यू डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस इट्स ओके यू नो इट्स जस्ट द वे ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेशन बट ही वुड रिमेंबर एंड सो इट्स द लिटिल थिंग्स दैट मेक्स यू फील वेरी कम्फर्टेबल एंड सडनली एज एन एक्टर इट हेल्प्स यू ऑन स्क्रीन over there i don't feel that nervousness that i would probably feel in facing amitabh sir or ranbir or yeah. shahrukh sir you know and i think that is something that they make it easy for you yeah. it, in the beginning itself so i think yeah. even shahrukh so making us very comfortable on set uh, played a huge role in us being completely his girls you know like the mm. chief he's our chief okay yeah. so i think he made that friendly bond with us on set uh, you know like uh, off the camera so that on on screen also it comes across like that mm. and he and he was not trying to be like oh i am elder than you i am this i know more i'm senior or anything he was mm. just trying to be a good friend yeah. and that's all and we were just so comfortable ha huh. 
I think that's the most important part that they make you feel on an equal yes. basis. And yes, yes. That's what I think makes them stars. Yeah. 100%. Make them legends. 100%. Because that's Do you have any specific memory? Because I was reading somewhere that you yeah, yeah, yeah. spoke about how he kind of made you feel comfortable during an emotional yes. moment. Yes. But other than that, do you have any specific memory that has stayed with you that kind of defines what a Shah Rukh Khan aura is all about? So that one thing, I think, I think everybody's read it now. <laughs> so uh-huh. I'm like, I, I was like, I was also thinking about it. What can be the other thing I can talk about? So I think one thing is that, uh, so we finished watching Pramastra <clears throat> and we came out of the, you know, the theatre and all. And suddenly, you know, the sweetest thing that he did was, Are, is nahi to bachaya Pramastra, isko bulao. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I realized that, you know, in a way, it just suddenly boosted my morale, hmm. you know. Like suddenly I was like, oh, Shah Rukh sir loved it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isi ne bacha hai from master. I think wo bhi ek tha ki wo lekar gaye sabko dikhane ke liye hmm. and film. And I think everybody knew that I am also a part of the film with hmm. him. So it was quite a quite a thing in the Audi, you know, because it was like Jawan cast and everybody was there. And they were saying ki, oh, okay, Lehar is also there, Shah Rukh is also there. The, just the, hearing the two names in one film yeah. just made me feel like, oh my God. And I told him that, you know, uh, we never we never met in the film. Mm. So I never met Shah Rukh sir uh, mm. during Brahmastra. And I was really heartbroken. Mm. That I was like, shit, I didn't get to meet him. Maybe, maybe, you know, during the... But little did I know I'll be shooting Got with him during plans. when it's... <laughs> yeah, I met a much better plan. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so these are all memories with him. And mm. I think... Um, but do you ever got to visit Mannat Once. in this experience? One, how was that? Because I feel like uh, as a, uh, I come from Delhi. For any Delhi person, like that is the. I come from Delhi. Where? Where in Delhi? Uh, Delhi and C R Ghaziabad. But yeah, Ghaziabad. Delhi, Delhi, Delhi. From Delhi. Uh, but uh, so for any Delhiite, it's like uh, a dream. उटसाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडाइडा
not a very very anxious person in mm. general i'm a very uh, calm and you know like yeah i stay positive usually and i feel yeah. like that uh, you know when i'm doing <clears throat> something i'm doing it with all my heart so i believe when it's going to come out it's going to be fruitful because i did my job with 100% yeah. of my attention so i was i'm not a very anxious person i was calm because i think i get it from my mother she's also a very calm person mm. so uh i think it was more like definitely there was a delay but i think i was understanding the delay very very well mm. because i was in contact with ayan and at times we used to mm. talk about it what is happening and all and i could understand that there's so much going with the film the mm. vfx and everything it's taking time and it's taking its own time so i and mm. and then covid happened so two years it got pushed because of that mm. you know so um, somewhere or the other i feel like i was never anxious that when it's going to come but in between at times a little low about ki oh, okay because you know i think mm. my the film was supposed to come out the next year itself and we started yeah. working on it it was 2019 it was supposed to come out mm. and i just joined and you know you you enter with that energy that oh next year is going to release it's going to mm. be a big thing for me i was i just entered college so all my friends in college were also like ye oh wow you're doing mm. brahmastra it's a big deal you know yeah. and then i finished college and brahmastra was still not out so like yeah. everybody was like uh, when ye, ye when is it when is it when is it nahi nahi wo to nahi but uh, i feel like uh, wo zarur tha ki uh, you know that uh, kya kehte hain एक वो एक एकदम से आप ऐसे हो जाते हो कि अच्छा जब आएगी तब भी यू नो यू विल गेट टू नो वट इज गोन बी लाइक बट अ पार्ट ऑफ अस वी वुड ऑलवेज वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड श्योर अबाउट दैट इट्स गोन बी समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट दैट पीपल दे हैव नॉट सीन इन इंडिया सो दैट्स गोन टेक इट्स ओन टाइम बेसिकली सो आई थिंक आई थिंक आई वॉज क्वाइट ओके विद कीपिंग दैट एंड आई आई कुड कीप टेकिंग यू नो आई वॉज आई वॉज टेकिंग लाइक अपडेट्स फ्रॉम आई आन दैट वॉट्स हब ओके वेर इज इट नाउ वट इज हैपनिंग सो ही वुड ऑल्सो स्वीटली जस्ट send a message saying mm. this is going on with the film right mm. now and uh, and you know next month we'll be doing this and that so mm. so i had an idea that's why i was never like anxious anxious mm. and uh, secondly i always believe that you know as an outsider since you don't have somebody at home to tell you how uh, how it works yeah. you will take your sweet little time to yeah. come where you have to be right sure. so i don't take all of these experiences as oh my god all of this why i have to go through this why am i not getting a mm. chance directly i take it as these are like baby steps mm. and i'm getting there you mm. know and these are like the projects that are teaching me so that i become worthy of being in that spotlight sure. one day so i am that kind yeah. of person <laughs> so yeah. i'm not anxious at all but uh, jaise uh, even uh, in this film like sharukh sir Nayantara and uh, Vijay sir, like they are still uh, their roles are comparatively different right. from what you are doing and everything. But then there are two actors, Sanya and Priyamani, who are big stars already. Right. But they are also playing one of uh, the same lot that you are. Yes. And how they kind of put themselves out there, kind of uh, off the screen, especially that kind of influences that kind of reflects on you as well, and right. uh, it influences how you also feel. Right. so how important was their behavior and how their attitude because it these was, were stars yeah yeah it was i think it was very very important because i think we six have spent a lot of time together because yeah. we are always together in the film <laughs> you see so we always <clears throat> spent a lot of time together even you know off set like yeah. off camera and everywhere so that was very important because i think everybody deep inside in their heart felt that ki okay especially i think me sanjita and alia being the new ones in yeah. the the six group and you know that priya di and sanya and girija having their own experiences yeah. there comes a point of time where you're like okay you know they like senior yeah. or something like that but yeah. they never never ever they made us feel like that in fact i think uh, they made the whole journey so good because yeah. whenever there were difficulties they were there to help yeah. they just suddenly turned into like my elder sisters who are just there you know that they yeah. they're just there to watch for me so i think uh, that was very important for me to feel very comfortable and to also have somebody to talk about anything that i'm facing issues with yeah. you know like the first first thing would be like okay let's just huddle up let's talk okay yeah. so all all six of us we became so close that yeah. uh, and i think that's why i keep saying that our friendship is not something that's going to stick just with the the film. film you know the film will go and we will still just stay friends for as yeah. long as we can i'm 100% sure yeah, I'm it's sure. like that and when we say na ki uh, women empowerment a yes. lot of films show that and a lot of films do it well also yeah. but this is a story which is about father and son right to incorporate a theme like that right in a film that is majorly about its male hmm. protagonist is difficult 
and it's challenging no i won't say difficult but it's challenging right. but at least sir has done it so beautifully yeah. even sharukh sir has contributed to it because right. i was listening uh, at the success press conference where the editor was saying right. ki ruben sir ki uh, sharukh sir said cut my ass, scenes and put uh, there right. it's very difficult and right. to do it well as well because i remember the hospital scene let's right. say in that the girls save him yeah it's not and he has given due importance then both of them have yeah. given due importance how important does it become for you as a woman to be a part of such stories because at the end of the day you also don't want to be associated uh, with a story that is about four uh, right. women empowerment right so i i i'll say that uh, this is one i think uh, as I even i think sharukh sir in his one of his interviews he said that when atli sir approached him the first approach was that it's you and six girls Hmm. So in his mind, I think from the very beginning, at least, sir, had it very clear that hmm. it's not. It is hmm. about the father and son, which is the core hmm. of the story. But it's not just that. It's it's a lot of other things that are happening around him, hmm. and the and the fact that he cannot do it alone. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. That I think uh, being a part of this film itself, I think. opens a lot of opportunities for a lot of women in general mm. and especially for audience to be comfortable with watching women in certain characters i i feel like that because i think uh, a lot of people are not very comfortable they don't accept it immediately that oh women are uh, they are shooting guns or they are doing action sequences there's still very little very less of it so mm. i am just happy that with this film and being a part of this film we have at least open that up for yeah. everyone so that we can have more films like jawan and more yeah. characters like kalki like all yeah. our other characters in the film itself yeah. so that people can get comfortable with you know yeah. like watching such characters as well yeah. what was the first reaction of watching uh, seeing a bald sharukh khan the first time because you guys i think were the first people to see that yeah. when the first time you saw that how was what was your reaction like it was like this is so cool <laughs> he looked so cool and the thing is i think uh, there's a part of you that feels like okay maybe you know i think he must have felt like he's not sure about it or something mm. but when he came with it he just owned it like there is no tomorrow like as if he's just like that all the time he owned it and he was just like wow that looks so cool <laughs> with that tattoo over here and he's bald and he has those black goggles and i'm like So why didn't you do this before? <laughs> why, why, why is it happening now? You're looking so cool. He was looking great, and I mean, he, he definitely the whole film. Hmm. But yeah, even when the ball thing happened, you were all like, "Wow, okay." I think he should do it more often. This, this look. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah, not saying yeah. go bald, but uh, this look he can pull off yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, lastly, I want to ask you because I forgot to ask this before. You said your mother is the biggest fan of Shahrukh yes. Khan. Yes. Did she get to meet him? Yes. She and did. how was it like it was amazing i i i i posted a small post also saying that i think and this happened when i so i she, like we got a picture click me mamma and so mm. and you know when i came back home and i saw that picture suddenly something happened and i just sat with that picture and i was like all of this the whole film that i've done it's released the achievements mm. that is one side this picture is totally to another like side because i think Like I am that kind of person. Somewhere I believe that I'm not doing everything just for myself. Mm. I'm I'm doing all of it for my mom. I, I'm doing it for my parents. Mm. So uh, the moment I saw that achievement of just the three of us and remembering that you know when I was entering as an actor, I just did like my uh, trial. Like I I did Jalpari. And mm. you know at home you know you're joking and also my parents would be like, "Hey, now you'll become a big actor. <laughs> so make us meet." So my mom would always say, "Make us meet Charu Khan. Make, first make me meet Charu Khan." Our first name is always that. And uh, and the funniest thing is, uh, second name from my dad's side was Amitabh sir, uh, and that was exactly. So I was like, so you know that picture? I was just holding on to that picture on my phone, and I was just like, this happened. Mm -hmm. This is the tick mark, you know? Okay, movie is one side, uh, great, good, but this is something that just is like, yeah. I think that gave me that sort of validation that I don't need from anyone else. You know? I'm like, okay, yeah. Do you have a sibling? Uh, is there any uh, uh, what is the next name your uh, family has said they want to meet because i think your next film is then going to be with them <laughs> i think now i'm putting my my <laughs> names also i'm like if it's getting fulfilled only then i should also put a lot of uh, a lot because i'm like i have a huge list of actors yeah. that i want to work with and i'm sure you're going to get a chance to work with all of them and i'm sure because uh, it's true for me and i'm it's going to be true for everyone kalki is going to stay with us for a long time thank and you. thank you for thank giving you us so kalki much. thank you for being 
uh, the amazing person on screen and the amazing person off screen Thank that you, you are. Thank Wishing you. Wishing you so lots and lots of luck for everything you do and please enjoy the success of Jawan. <laughs> and I'm sure it's gonna be bigger, bigger and bigger as time yes. goes by. Thank Big you for guest. this. Hope you had a good time. <laughs> Thank you because so I had much. A great time. Had a great time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Leher Khan and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. Thank you.